When you start up the driveway, you don't see the house. You've got to get up almost the top of the driveway before you start curving, and all of a sudden the house pops into view. And you see this big expanse with a grotto underneath the front entry area and two curved stairs walking up to it. It's like a grand entrance, you know, to, to a palace of sorts. Sometimes they've called it 18,000 square feet. Uh, there's 15,000 basically on this floor here. Downstairs we have a room that was designed to put a theater room in. It's a very large room and that adds another 3,000 square feet to it. So the room is finished, but there's no theater equipment it's, in the room right wired. now. It's wired. It's wired. It's wired for theater. Right. Um, but it's ready if someone would choose to do so. This house has four bedrooms. All bedrooms are en suite. We have four full baths and four powder four rooms, powder rooms. I think. So every bathroom here, I'm very proud of it because I designed them. I got to pick it all out and coordinate it. Well, my, my favorite parts of the house are this Rococo foyer, living room, dining room. Just from a design standpoint and beauty of the facility is one of my favorite parts. The other thing is I like cars. So we built these large garages with uh, workshops in them, etc. So it may not be the most beautiful part of the house, but it's the most functional for the <laughs> I'm concerned, okay? And then on top of that, we have I have a nice large den with solid walnut floors. And so I store all my books, all my drawings, all my, I got a work table where I can do manual drawings, where I can do a computer. When you go in the kitchen, there are two refrigerators. There is a hidden pantry. We elevated the dishwasher. I wanted the island to be open enough that three people could be in there doing something and you're not stumbling over each other. It also adds to your seating when you have large groups of people. Right now we have AMX basic computers and everything can be controlled by it. In front of the house, when you drive up, waterfall starts running. It's just a great location for us. It's near everything, but it's charming and small. Once you get home, it's like, <sighs> so we love it here. The views from here are just outstanding because you can see way deep into Scottsdale, all the way across Phoenix to the south of our house. We can see all the way to Picacho Mountain and Picacho Peak. On, in winter times, there's sometimes the clouds come in and the clouds come in through the valley and we're on top of the, of the cloud right. cover. We enjoyed designing this house say it took four and a half years but it's got our heart and soul in it we love it but life goes on and you don't stay the same age and we realize it's time to downsize now while we're both blessed with really good health we really are and we've loved every minute living here we know someone else will too